temperatures are going up, and so is the cost for back-to-school shopping because of inflation. August starts next week, which means families in Hampton Roads are gearing up for the return to the classroom. And with that inflation, many parents are expecting to open up their pockets just a bit more when getting supplies this year. Officials with Deloitte, that's a financial consulting firm, did a survey showing parents are planning to spend on average $661 this back to school season. That is 8% higher compared to last year. News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer speaking with families and with one local organization, making sure your kids have all the supplies ahead of the first day. This summer, we've all had this on our minds and how far it'll go. And while families are starting to gear up for school supply shopping, one local group is making sure that your family gets the most bang for your buck ahead of the first bell. It's that time of year for the Milner family. I get backpacks, lunch boxes. Sometimes I'll find something Minecraft related. Back to school shopping. So there's usually um, in the normal stuff, pencils, composite notebooks, a few binders and stuff. And then we're also going to let the kids do a little bit of shopping for their school clothes. We try to shop in advance, so this isn't much of a headache coming up soon. It's Drew Davidson's family strategy to help save money on supplies, especially with inflation. You definitely see an increase just in from the you know little things. It's a private school, so just like the tuition, you got to stay ahead of the game, try to keep that money to the side, do little things here and there just to stay ahead. As inflation continues hitting the country and families hit stores, attention is on back to school shopping trends. According to a recent survey by Deloitte, parents plan to spend on average $661 per child. That's up 8% versus last year. The survey also found 33% say their household financial situation is worse since last year. And 57% are concerned about the rise in back to school product prices because of inflation. How much on average do you spend for back to school shopping? usually for both of them. Over the year, it's probably like maybe four or five. The Boys and Girls Clubs of the Virginia Peninsula is gearing up for its annual school supplies drive, which usually helps around 500 families per year. Club officials say this year's drive will be as critical or more than ever. Just the fact that things cost so much more than, than they did, you know, just last year. We work very hard to make sure that the transition from summer to the start of school is as seamless as possible. Meanwhile, Alan Milner's family is waiting until the Virginia a sales tax holiday to stock up on supplies for his daughters. When you have to buy, you know, 15, 20 composite notebooks, it saves some money and time. Smith says they usually start getting school supplies around mid-August. Now, we have more information on their school supplies drive, as well as how you can help families and the Virginia sales tax holiday. All that is up right now on our website, WTKR.com. In Norfolk, Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.